You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Awkward After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Awkward After Show. There it is. Oh, mm. my love loves going to leave. Dance party! <laughs> Get it, Brett. What? Hey. Hey, everyone. Welcome to AfterBuzz TV's Awkward What's After up? Show. <laughs> I know what was going on really over there. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of really into that. <laughs> Sorry, I apologize. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, Welcome back, Giselle. Um, it's oh, season four, episode six, seven, six, After six, Hours. Six, I am your host, Tiana Hobson. Right. And joining me tonight, I've got another full six, panel. Six, We've got Giselle six, back in the house. What's up, guys? What, what? After a week absence. We missed you. you. We did. Yeah, we got a car accident. It sucked. Out of car. She's like alive. I'm, she's alive. <laughs> she's okay. Feeling like a freshman in high school again. I'm really relate really to the subject matter at hand. <laughs> um, also joining me tonight, I have Jason Eichler. Hello, everyone. Yeah, and then our special guest tonight, Mr. Jake Rosati himself. Brett Davern in the house. Oh. Team Jake. Team Jake. Oh, please. We're you're only saying, saying that because you're, you're here. You're just saying that. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> it happens everywhere I go. That's pretty much You just walk into a room, everyone's like, Team Jake. Team yes. Jake. Yeah. We're like, where's Bo? Or even where's Team Maddie. Yeah. Walk, but walk, I mean, walk. you you and Bo do seem pretty tight. So I feel like you guys go a lot of places together. He sucks. Yeah. He really sucks. <laughs> No, Especially I actually told him I was going to say that if you asked about him. Uh, no, Bo <laughs> is amazing. We're best friends. Aww. We are. But then you're going to ask him someday, and then he's going to say, I don't really like that guy, and then you'll cut it together and I'll look like an idiot. That's usually what happens. I mean, that's yeah, what I was probably. going for. That's what he likes to That'll do. Yeah. That's what he this. usually likes to do to me. But usually you can see through those kinds of words. You know, no. they're just words. <laughs> no, he's a great guy. You know, Winner. good looking, likable, charming, all those things. Yeah. All those things. He's all those things. And then you put those things together, and it's just bromance to the max. It is. We have a uh, full-on bromance. We've DTR'd. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We've DTR'd and uh, gone public and everything, and people are cool with it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah We're happy cool. for you guys. Fans yeah. yeah. I hope it's 2014. Yeah. Everything's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. You're allowed to have a bromance. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Okay, that's good. That's I, feel good. Like a, I feel like on your set, just watching all the Twitter feeds and stuff with all the pictures that you guys are constantly posting with each other, like all the cast, I feel like it's a giant bromance on that set. Yeah, it really is. I was thinking about that today, actually, because, uh, you know, we were filming today. We were filming episode 16, I think. Okay. So I know what happens Ooh. in the future. So far. <laughs> so far. Are you still in jail? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm still there, so that's good. That's good. Did you um, drop the soap? But <laughs> uh, so uh, wait, what were you saying? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah. I mean, everyone really. We it's it feels like like people always think we're faking it or whatever, but we're not. We really are all friends and hang out, and we we all pretty much. I didn't know anyone before we started shooting the show. I don't think anyone. Maybe Ashley and Jillian knew each other or something, but we all kind of met doing the pilot and everything. We we hang out. I mean, you know, Jillian and Molly and Bo, everybody was we were hanging out this weekend, and I mean, it's it's a big uh, big family over there. It's that's a lot nice. of fun. That's awesome. Yeah. What about when you have someone like Eva's character come in to this big family? How do you embrace her or haze her? Oh, we or... hate her. We <laughs> yeah, just completely. The poor Beth. We just shun her. She's you know play tricks on her. No, I she, we welcome everybody in with open arms and she's she's been great she's really a lot of fun to have on set she's a great actress and uh really smart i think she's i mean kind of started to see a glimpse of uh eva tonight i know a couple of colors. 50 shades of eva and Ooh. um yeah she it's it's a really interesting character i think people are really gonna um you know it's a love hate thing maybe with eva in the future but what was we'll it? see what happens hashtag eva's a ditch mm -hmm. yeah 
Yeah, she she left she, him hanging tonight. She left I know. him hanging. She left us hanging. I mean, I thought she was kind of, you know, one of the bros. I thought she'd be, you know, right? ride or die. She's yeah. not a ride or die. No, we're going to jail and she's, she's... hitchhiking home. I don't know. <laughs> hey, she good got for Uber. you, Eva. <laughs> she's just whatever. Yeah. She's going to stay. It'll come back couple. around. Yeah. Or Karma. Something. Not so badass after all. Yeah. Or she's just really smart. Well, Either okay. way, yeah, she's not in jail. So maybe both of those things. Both of those, both things. of those things. And Evan too, who plays Luke, who's kind of a, a newer cast member as well. He's a really, really, really cool guy. So yeah, we, we get really lucky with with casting and the guest stars and everything that we get. They're all really cool people. Well, that's so, nice. Yeah. All right, let's get into tonight's episode a little bit. Perfect. Um, why? <laughs> why? I know. We're having so much fun. <laughs> yeah, we're having so much fun right now. Um, but I want to have even more fun and talk about some things that are happening. Because we see Jenna, who um, is getting tutored by her new boyfriend, Luke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and one thing we always talk about is that this high school and her parents, it's all very low key. Because I'm not sure that in high school, my college boyfriend would have been allowed to you know, lay in mm. bed with me and tutor me and my mom could walk in and catch <laughs> us yeah, making no out mm. and no, and just Not like, even oh, I'm going to put in my bedroom. Yeah. There was like a door well, open. Well, yeah, home. and yeah. they had the door open though is what I thought was funny. <laughs> like, Lacey just walks in. It's not like she had to knock. Right, right. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he's like, uh, when I was no. in high school, I, man, I ran them streets. I mean, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, Lacey, they're such young parents so maybe they make mistakes obviously yeah i don't know i mean that wasn't my high school experience but you know we're on tv my mom, is, my mom right. had no idea when i was having boys spend the night like, oh that's just your friend from the soccer team have fun <laughs> um, okay at Dudley wants to know have you ever dated an older girl ah um maybe whether recently oh. or perhaps in high school maybe, maybe you can switch it up in high school did you ever date someone who was a little uh controversial I, you know when i was a freshman i i went to a dance with a senior girl oh Ooh. damn yeah yeah how was it it was great yeah <laughs> it was awesome i you know uh i was I, I, i've always been like a theater guy you know and like trying to in the drama department all those kinds of things so um, my freshman year of high school i got the lead in the school musical which was like wow you know awesome yeah. and like unheard of because I'm, I'm so great yeah uh, <laughs> it was a joke it was a joke it was gonna be like he's super egotistical it was a joke uh what but anyway it, by the way uh well it, okay the, there's a reason i got the part because the, the musical is oliver uh, and oh. it's a it's like a male soprano and my voice hadn't changed yet <laughs> so it's not like i'm you know this like super talented but anyway but so there was a lot of, you know, there's a lot of girls in the school musicals, you know, and the senior girls all had cars and they could drive me home. And, you know, it's a good way to start flirting with older girls when you're in high school. So, you know, <laughs> thanks for the bad. ride, babe. Keep yeah. that tip in mind. I had a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, thanks a lot. <laughs> um, yeah. You really I, hit those high notes. <laughs> yeah. You hit those high notes so well. Yeah. Oh, um, good times. I did love Lacey's one line to Jenna tonight um, about the thrust. What right. was it? Oh, one thrust. One, one thrust to become a team, team mom. Could be a team mom. It's like you yeah. learn from true. me. Yeah, I mean, it's true. That's all it takes. One pump. I think it's funny how I'm many dumb. times they rip on Teen Mom during this show. <laughs> <laughs> or plug. Yeah. Or plug. That, mm -hmm. that could be it, the too. The new season's starting yeah. soon, so maybe it is a plug. She's like, no, or uh, be a Teen Mom Wednesday nights at 10.30. <laughs> <laughs> right. What's up? Hashtag. Right. Yeah. Hashtag Teen Mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. Do you guys have idea. fun kind of making those jokes? Yeah, um, every once in a while that table reads and stuff because you can tell where the commercial breaks are in the script. So, like, especially when it's one of those lines that ends with kind of like a don don don, you know, kind of uh -huh. thing. Like, I'll just pipe up and be like, next on an all New Jersey show. <laughs> <laughs> it makes everybody laugh. But anyway, yeah, yeah. that's fun. That's um, fun. That is fun. That's fun. I mean, fun. <laughs> we have fun. We like to laugh. That's good. A I mean, bunch of just is important. A bunch of kidders fun. around. Bo, Bo and I actually at the table reads too. We'll do the sound effect that. <laughs> Like, at oh, the like the end of that because it says in the script it says like you know fade to black and then the letters you know, I don't really know what it says in the script I don't read the scripts what no. happens if you're saying something that you're not happy with do you show it or do you just suck it up put on your acting face and like do you ever try to argue something or oh pitch something? well um 
every once in a while i mean we we're just blessed to have great writers i mean you guys you know <laughs> tonight you, you was <laughs> the, tomorrow was just all the, the yeah i mean our writers all the way through from obviously the pilot on through it's i think that's why the show is so successful like the the writing is just so tight and good mm-hmm. and i mean the stuff they come up with like you said like for tomorrow like the words and i mean they make up these things they're just they're brilliant so i mean no, real. I don't have to, you know, we don't really have to go say something a lot of the time. Sometimes those something character wise will happen where it's like, well, I don't know if Jake. You did change a lot this yeah. season. Yeah. yeah, well, that's true. That's true. Yeah. I mean, it, it is every once in a while I'll go up and, or especially in conversation between Maddie and I, where I'm kind of like, I don't know, dudes don't really talk this way. Maybe they, you know, <laughs> but, and usually it's just met with like, okay, cool. Or, or sometimes it's like, no, we need you to do that because it, you know, goes back to this scene when da da da. And then, okay. And, it's really great. It's a our set's a great environment. Like I said, the whole cast gets along so well. Uh, we get along with all the writers, producers, directors. It's such a like collaborative thing. And I, I think especially now that we're in season four, like it's just it's got a real rhythm to it. You know, it's just it's like a machine over there. We just kind of like everyone falls into place and yeah. Is it mostly female writers? Uh yeah we have yeah we have a couple male writers too. I mean it's a I think there's God I don't know there's like eight. Eight writer, okay. eight nine writer, oh, something wow. like that, and then uh, both our new showrunners are are both writers as well, so they'll write a couple of scripts. They actually directed uh, a couple of episodes here in the back ten as well, so you know everyone's kind of floating around, and and th- it's totally a free, like if you come up with something great and do it, it'll make it in. I mean sometimes. Um, like Bo and I are huge Seattle Seahawks fans, and so in that one episode, I said we were going beast mode, which is like a nod to the Seahawks. And <laughs> okay. I think the line in the script said I, he was going to Hulk out, and I just said he's going to go beast mode. And they, you know, they were like, "Yeah, that's fine, whatever." So <laughs> you guys cool. did change showrunners, was it? Yeah, this season. Uh, yeah. So this season has new showrunners. How was know? that adjustment? It was. It was. It's been good. I think you know. It was. It was a little weird. Like Lauren, you know, uh, she wanted to go do her own thing, and she's so talented, and you know, and she deserves that, and and um, and she's she's gonna be great at whatever she ends up doing. So we're really happy for her and everything, and and so Mike and Chris came on, and they kind of like took up the reins, and they were such fans of the show anyway. So I think they really, you know, try to keep that in mind and everything. And I mean, hey, Mike wrote the songs for Jake. Oh. So Mike Chesler, so I got to give him a shout out because uh, that was Mike. that was really fun. Like I I come from musical theater background and um you know that kind of thing and like like to sing and all those kinds of things. But it was in no way my idea. They just <laughs> called. They're like, hey, do you want to sing if we write you some songs? I said sure. And then we were doing the music video thing. They're like, you're like like you look like you should be doing like this is <laughs> we, we kind of thought it'd be a joke, but it looks really kind of decent. And I'm like, oh, all right. So do you really pay instruments? Uh, I I mean fake the guitar pretty well. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean I I can play the guitar. I mean I can I got like eight chords that I can. <laughs> That's all you need. That I can oh, play enough um, to serenade a girl. Bo is incredible on the guitar. Oh, yeah. He's really good. Like I mean, where is that, Mike? He's really good. <laughs> Yeah, right? I know. <laughs> it's kind of like, well. You guys need to, to start me, like so. a power boy band. Well, hopefully. hopefully maybe well. at some point. I think like he, Bo's like one of those guys that like, he, he just is good at everything. He tra- He's one of those guys you just want to hate. You know what I mean? <laughs> like he's like, oh, I want to play golf. Pff, right down the middle, you know. I want to play the guitar. <laughs> he's like, you know, soloing. You know. It's just, he's one of those guys. Um, I just have a question. Um, back to your new image this season. Yeah. Was that something that you kind of wanted to come across with? Did they come to you with that? Because I felt like you just kind of showed up and you look like, you know, after summer vacation, just yeah. like, you know, you had the shaggy. You know, it's stuff. weird. Like, I, I think it's it's not just uh, the new show owners, Mike and Chris, uh, but also like Lauren, because like between season one and season two, Jake shows up with the, uh, or I, I guess it was season two and season three. He's like got the French thing. Yeah. He oh, like yeah. has a scarf on and the <laughs> sunglasses. And it's like, I don't know, I, something happens to him over the summer. I don't know <laughs> yeah. really what the deal is. But I think like for, mission trip yeah, I, don't, I think for this year, they kind of, I mean, he lost the presidency to, to tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So I think he kind of went through an identity crisis a little bit. Um, the the music thing actually in season one there's a brief moment where Jenna's getting into Jake's car and he says something about like hey watch out for my amp back there which is like oh. so buried and hidden and I had to go read reread a bunch of scripts and watch the show again and like I was like ah there it is he's always been into music so it, it's totally uh, justified but I think for Jake and you'll see it as you continue to watch the season and we hope you all do obviously but um um, it's really like addressed like why this change or why he, he's kind of like 
trying on all these different hats and and i mean that's what we do in high school mm-hmm. you know you try yeah. to find out who you are and now and so yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. totally it. doing it still but i mean that's kind of so the wardrobe changed you know you got a little more hipster he's got the the hair going on the i don't know about the scruff though because nobody else in that school has the has the five o'clock shadow going yeah. on so. he's a man He's a man. Yeah. He's the only yeah. man there. There's He's the actually... most manly man at Palace Hills. <laughs> that's, that's, that's for There's sure. There's always that one kid in high school who had the beard, though. Oh, yeah. 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 And, I like, and he wasn't going to shave it off, either. He was just going to, you know, Movember every day. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yeah. yeah it's, just, it's a source of pride. Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk a little bit about this um, BFGF BFF concert date. Mm-hmm. Um, and Jake and Tamara's huge fight at the school over the concert tickets. Yeah. That was hilarious because <laughs> I know, <laughs> like, because Tamara's just so funny with her one-liners, and then yeah. you know you have you over there like taking going, it, yeah, taking it, and just like I'm over fighting with you. She's and, just such a psychopath. I mean, the whole Tamara is. She like, catfished you. I mean, she, she's I, crazy. crazy. She's crazy. She's but crazy. You're crazy right back, Mister Fake Tweeter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Mister. What was it? Sex Eating story? your feelings in bed by <laughs> yeah. yourself. That's what was true. It, the Toy Story. Yeah. What, what by the way, can we talk about like is Jake watching porn and eating popcorn? <laughs> I know. Yeah. Is like, that I that mean, is I talent? Hope he used different hands. I, I mean, maybe it was like natural <laughs> lubrication, like buttery oh, pop. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. He's going to butter it. You know what? All the guys in, all the <laughs> all guys in jail popcorn. are going to really enjoy that smell. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, he's, he's so he's, you know, he's trying to put on airs for tomorrow, I guess. But the catfishing thing, I mean, come on. That's crazy. Everyone's done it. Really? Yeah. Uh, to that extent, school? though. I mean, yeah, I did it a little bit, but not really? like... Well, I helped a friend do it for another no. friend. No, not In high school, I totally oh. did it. Did I, did I definitely... <laughs> we're just crazy white girls. Okay. <laughs> did I definitely go on some pages way, and Brown, see what they were no up to? <laughs> oh. Wow. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I felt... I was kind of... Yeah. Do you I think felt that, Jake's pain on that one. But do you think that Jake's really upset? Or is he some like a little bit you know, like flattered that she would go through the, that extent to... You know, I mean, for me, like, obviously, I'm very close to Jake and very protective of Jake. And he, like, <laughs> he just, I, I feel, first of all, I feel like his big brother, sort of. Like, when okay. I think about him, like, that's, because, that, I don't know, that's just kind of how I think about him. But he, he just, he gets, sh- can I say sh- Yeah, you yeah. can say it. He gets shit on so much. <laughs> <laughs> like, really, if you break he it really down. Does. Yeah. I mean, He's he. He's I mean, first of all, he's in love with Jenna. Mm-hmm. Like, Totally. And they're behind his back, that whole thing, yeah. right? Then he hooks up with Tamara. Then Tamara, like, is just kind of nuts the whole time, you know? And he really tries. He's like, okay, you he can't. He thinks the he nuts can't... is kind of hot, though, I think. Yeah, he does. I think maybe he did. <laughs> he I think he, he thinks he can save all of them. That's his thing. Or at least that's what I think of. Like, he's like um, like the white knight, you know, who's going to ride in and, you know, save these girls from their problems like Jenna and obviously with all her issues and then uh, Tamara and I think he just but he's just so let down you know because he's mm-hmm. such he's at his core like such a good guy you know and then to be just betrayed I mean that's the second time he's kind of been betrayed yeah maybe he should okay. stay out of that group of girlfriends I'm saying just not doing anything good for Something. him he needs to go to college <sighs> and he needs like an older girl maybe Jake mm-hmm. should date Sadie mm-hmm. Uh oh! Oh, spoiler alert! I think Sadie would just shit on maybe him even more. Maybe there's, you know, maybe there's uh, surprises in the future. Oh, oh. You know, yeah, so just keep watching. Val? Episode six. So, Val. Val. <laughs> Look, I I have be been good. pitching the Val thing <laughs> since day one because Desi is a goddess, and that would be so um, funny. but it's yeah. So well, we maybe have, it happened. I don't know. Yeah, we have you pitching yourself um, for the whole Val setup, and then we or had, Mrs. Hamilton. Yeah, Va- Val, Mrs. Hamilton. It could go say, either way. Yeah, because Nikki is Hamilton. just or an both? angel. Yeah. Oh, ooh, ooh. I know. that'd be good. Mm. I gotta go. You know Val. I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. I gotta go. Right <laughs> I gotta go uh, write an email. No, yeah, uh, you know Val has a girl yeah. crush on Lacey. Oh, oh, oh for sure. Yeah, yeah. She would not say no. Mm. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do drink a lot of wine yeah. together. So, you know, who knows? Those two are funny together, too. But, I mean, Desi's hilarious. She's, can we say, I mean, she's just the best. Yeah. That scene she's tonight. She's so funny. She's so she, funny. That scene tonight when she invited herself to the concert. Oh, man. <laughs> At the end of it. She just, Desi just kills it every time. She's the funniest. I mean, the stuff that happens in the table reads, she's the best. 
yeah. yeah. And like, no offense to anyone else, but she just comes in and, you know, her smart, her part isn't the biggest role. Totally. But she comes in for like that one scene. And I remember that Kills one it. scene. Uh, yeah. For the one line. Yeah, yeah. That one line, even for the rest of the week. Totally. The, I mean, just from the very first episode, she's just sitting there popping Jenna's Tic Tacs. And then like <laughs> that, that whole thing. I mean, it's just, it's brilliant. Desi's the best. She's, she's awesome. All right. So. Jake, being the good guy that he is, finally says, I'm over this. You can have my concert ticket. So Jenna, um, Tamara, Maddie, and Eva all now are going to the Wolf. concert together. And it was Jenna's idea. It was Jenna's to idea because Eva. she's she's over Maddie. So <laughs> she's gonna be the cool girl who, you know, you have my blessings to hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed, which we all know that no girl is ever okay with this happening. But I think every girl tries to do that. Like, oh I'm totally okay if he dates somebody and then as soon as it happens goes crazy. Yeah. But she's with Luke. College. But guy. still it's like, you just want let Maddie to have be... him, but you don't want anybody else to have him like, mm-hmm. either. I, that's true i agree and just let maddie be i think that you know for them to get back together at some point they both need to go on their separate ways and travel their different paths that's the thing that i don't miss about high school is like when you break up with each other you still have to see each other every, every single day, day. Mm-hmm. so you mm-hmm. can't go your own mm-hmm. separate ways because it's incestuous yeah they're always right yeah. there or they just show up at your front door when you're making out with your new yeah. college yeah. boyfriend or your back yeah. door and- <laughs> or your oh. <laughs> that's, just a whole, had a different that's kind of Alyssa <laughs> the back door is Alyssa thing right? that's Alyssa. true yeah Alyssa. Oh. was that your experience <laughs> <laughs> surprise <laughs> um, and also joining them are Sadie and Austin I thought yes. that was kind of weird that yeah. they were like you I think Sadie would be like I am no way in hell riding there with you but well she doesn't have a car she's gonna show that's, up that's the problem yeah. she doesn't have a car she doesn't have a car so sometimes you gotta do things you don't wanna do mm-hmm. um, they were driving kind of illegally you know four people in the back seat yeah. totally just like there's no seatbelts for everyone here yeah I hate to be the mom of the <laughs> yeah. group right now but <laughs> That's what that I was a lot. about. That happens a lot. Or we're stuffing people in the cars <laughs> in the a cars, lot. That's true. Yeah. Especially with the convertible, with Jake's car. That happens quite a lot. Yeah. But Jump on in. What do you get it's under? usually the amp taking up too much space it's, in the backseat. Yeah. And- <laughs> well, and you have to put, you have to exaggerate the space between Eva and Maddie for that kind of a thing. Totally. You have to force them together. To be yeah. together. That's right. And as the night goes on, they want to get fake IDs, or they want to get some booze, and so they go to get fake IDs mm. on the corner of Pepsi and Rape. Which I believe is downtown. Hepsi, wait, Hepsi. Oh, Hepsi. Hepsi. I thought she said Hepsi. Hepsi. <laughs> no. Hepsi is in Hepsi. Hepsi. Oh, Pepsi's not a sponsor. I know. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, Pepsi let them use their name right there? That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm the Christina of the week. Okay. There you go. It's okay. Forgiven. Um, forgiven. Yeah. Thank you. So, I mean. AKA they, my college neighborhood, but continue. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> down, downtown, good old downtown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sketchy neighborhood. Yeah. Where they meet a lovely lady um, at a tattoo parlor. Yes. From Orange is the New Black. From Orange is the New Black. Yes. Who is just awesome enough to come guest on our show. It was yeah. really cool That's to have cool. her. Are you guys a fan yeah. of that show, too? Oh, big time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still not through yet, though. So, oh. no, I'm, it's taking a while. Dude, you got like a week before season two <sighs> comes out. I know. I know. But I'm getting through it. Okay. It's, it's awesome. Get, you'll get it's a great show. Just wait till great everyone show. dies. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Oh, man. I ruined that. My bad. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Rude. So, um, everyone has to... Oh, and while this is happening, Eva, because Sadie's being such a biatch, um, typical Sadie, mm-hmm. um, Eva has that picture of Sadie and Maddie. Yeah. No, I don't think together. Eva's being, or I don't think Sadie's being a bitch. I think it's Eva getting called out on her stuff because we know some of Sadie's going on, but what did she say? She was in oh. Switzerland at the same time that she was dating. Or that she school. got her fake ID. Yeah. Her stories point. just keep evolving and evolving. Yeah. And Something I thought she about... was from New York. So how did she have this connection in California? Mm. Exactly. She gets around. She... What's yeah. going on with Eva? Mm. I'm just saying wow. I haven't trusted her from day one. <laughs> uh, she yeah. Has a wild That's there's a lot of um, yeah. There's, there's a lot one... of inconsistencies there. And Sadie keeps calling her on it too because yeah. a couple episodes ago. I think Eva was finishing a story and Sadie said, I think that was an episode of Gossip Girl, which is, <laughs> I, I thought was a great line. It's so funny. So, that is what she reminds yeah. me of. She's like, yeah. Sabrina. Yeah. There is yeah. one prediction out there from one of our fans right now that they think that Eva is actually an undercover police officer. Oh. 
who oh, is 20, 23 Jump Street. Yeah, <laughs> because, um, you know, one thing we talked about, we were like, you know, I know she's from New York, so she's, you know, more mature, but I was like, she kind of puts herself off as more adult than everyone else at the school, so maybe she is older huh. than she's saying and lying about her age. So maybe she's it's a good, dark. It's a good theory, but no, that's no, not. Darn. I can say that right now. No. Darn. No. Damn it. <laughs> no. Maybe nice try. she's Sadie's long lost sister Ooh. oh oh mm. mm. now we're getting deep with it mm. we're both out of getting money and really insecure. very young and the restless with it i like <laughs> it i like it slash lover <laughs> yeah eva eva's um i'm tonight was kind of the the kickoff to uh to eva and i'm kind of excited to see how the uh how everybody reacts. Yeah. I'm glad they're bringing somebody so else in for the drama because I'm like, I just want you guys all to get along. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. before that we love. So Team bring somebody together. else in to totally to, to totally. mess things up. Yeah. Um, so, you know, Eva's threatening Sadie with this picture the whole time. So eventually Sadie does do the right thing and come clean with Which was Austin. so surprising. I know. What? That took a turn. Yeah. yeah. And she actually did it very well. Like I thought she that she was acted have said out the so well from both sides. Where they kissed, she should have just left it. Like, oh, it looked like we fell asleep. But she Emma did the right know. thing. Like that, she took it. Yeah, she, she was trying to be there. honest. And oh, I just want to point out, like Molly is such a great actress. Like, what a scene. Yeah. She's so I good. Her. She can make that turn from so funny as Sadie and so bitchy and whatever, and then just I don't know. She's great. Yeah. Anyway, she was definitely vulnerable in that point, and I love when we get to see those glimpses of Sadie being yeah. vulnerable. Yeah, I love it too, and she does it so well. She does it great. So yeah, but it yeah. was a really is a sad scene it's for kind me. Of a sad scene, but do we think yeah. that's the end of Austin and Sadie forever? And perhaps mm. the beginning of Sadie and Maddie forever? Not no, because remember they kissed Sadie and they were like, Jake? Ew, it was I think, like, okay. I think Sadie and Jake is oh. happening. Sadie and I, someone else all together. Who knows? Oh. Oh. Sadie and Mr. Hamilton. Oh, there you go. There we go. Because oh. he had his shirt off last week and I was like, hey, Mr. <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> you can call me anytime. <laughs> 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 Mike Fiola, yeah. Yeah, that little yeah. Like, that dance number was amazing last week. Mm hmm. Yeah. You should have seen the whole thing. I mean, really, there, I'm just going to say it. There is like a two minute, that was like two minutes. Oh, really? And they yeah. only showed like five. We came in on like a different day and did a whole rehearsal. Like, it was like, oh. that dance was epic. There was humping the floor. Oh. MTV, TV. There was magic Mike style. Oh, there was craziness in that dance. And then it, I hope it's you on know, the DVD extras. They, you know, I hope if it is not, too because that was a lot of sweat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if really? Not, maybe afterwards you can just give us a little show. <laughs> okay, sure, yeah. 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 Like, no, cue the music, I mean, exit, and then be like, "You're welcome." Bo and I are just—I mean, we're not—we're definitely not dancers. So we, like, but we felt so proud of ourselves. We got this down, and then I was watching the episode. I'm like, "What? <laughs> I'm not <laughs> in that shot." <sighs> anyway. You guys all look like real dancers too. So, oh, thanks. Good job. You you acted your butt off, faking it well. Yeah. 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 How do you guys think Sadie's gonna handle the breakup? Obviously, you know. I don't think she'll handle it very well. I think that she'll go back into maybe being a little bit more bitchy than normal. I think she's going to have, like, a good rebound. Mm. Mm. Who? Mm. I actually feel this is going to happen because I always wanted Sadie and Maddie to happen. And I always told you it wasn't going to happen. So You always wanted Sadie and Maddie to happen? Yeah, Yeah. since the beginning. Yeah. Well... It, they kind of tried. tried. Was that yeah. last week? They tried yeah, to. and it wasn't. Yeah, it felt like their brother and sister. You know, they said that brother. But what and sister about Jake? Thing, but... Is that like a brother and sister thing? With Sadie? Yeah. No, they're not like brother and sister. I felt the sexual know. tension between Tamara and Jake again tonight. Yeah. Before I, I felt like it was like okay, they really, really don't yeah. like each other. Whereas tonight I was like, you guys really want to make out with each other right now. Hey, you know, I mean, he loves. Try to make it work. Down, I think. I think so too. Make her happy in pants. They just have some things to work out. They always do. But emotionally. They yeah. always do. It's it's a it's a long road. Yeah, it was the sexual yeah. frustration that took him to watching the Toy Story porn. <laughs> yeah, so that's he true. was just trying to get some relief there. That's yeah. true. Now what happened yeah. on that? <laughs> <laughs> there was Woody and Buzz. <laughs> Woody and Buzz. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh yep. man. All right. So they're at this place getting their fake IDs and they go to get um some alcohol and tamara stays behind she's obsessive obsessively stalking jake still on his social media is reading all his tweets um and then she gets mugged <laughs> well, by a mexican of course, <laughs> yeah. of rude. course. Rude. Rude. 
would <laughs> stand up for your people. <laughs> it was either going to be a Mexican guy or a black, black one. Guy. And it happened to be the Mexican guy who was a PA. So he, <laughs> no, wait, that was no, wait, the tow was, truck yeah. driver. No, Never the tow truck, tow truck driver is one of our PAs named Kentucky, who is also obviously an actor and he got the part. And that's so cool. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Cool. It was really cool. They do that. We actually do that a lot. Um, I think uh, a couple of seasons ago, Oh, uh, the episode where there's like, um, th- there's that whole like, what? W- oh, God, I'm sounding so stupid right now. <laughs> Put your thoughts together, Davin. Um, Use your words. It's Use your uh, words. yeah, the the kind of episode. It's like it. a dream episode. It's all not in reality. Where Jenna's like pregnant and she's going about, oh. what if I was with Jake? What if I was with oh. Maddie? That whole episode. Oh yeah. Uh, the episode. So Jake's like on a ladder and he's like, I would love that really cute baby. And then he like climbs the ladder and the guy standing there's a janitor. And that's like one of our stand-ins. Like so oh. they did they oh, do that's a lot. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I did a lot. One of the board members last season was another one of the stand-ins. So. Yeah, we kind of we do that a lot. It's a lot of fun. It makes it, it you know bumps up morale around there, and it's it's just like a lot of fun to a lot of fun through our friends in the episodes. Well, next thing that happens to poor Tamara on this night, um, after getting robbed, um, not at gunpoint or anything, so she's fine. But then her car gets towed, which yeah. she let the tow truck driver hook up her car and everything while she was standing <laughs> right there. So that's kind of on you. I've been there. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's kind of on you a little bit. But her car You've gets... been there too and I told the tow truck driver off. Remember? <laughs> well, yeah, I do. My car ran out of gas once. How did that work for you? I got my car. Oh, for free? Yeah. yeah. Wow. He, he put it down? He yeah. hadn't started wow. hooking it quite Jeez. yet. We got there just in time. Oh, wow. Um, Lucky. But here comes Jake to save the day. Of course. I see. White Knight. Yeah. White Knight. As usual. He puts down his porn to come save their behinds. <laughs> I mean, no, it's called like. Him? I didn't catch that. Maddie. Maddie called him? Uh, yeah. I okay. believe Maddie called him. Yeah. I don't know. Just want to make it a point I don't read for Maddie. Oh, I don't read <laughs> he doesn't read them. He just shows up and. <laughs> it's all improv. There's, there's, <laughs> there's cue cards right there for him, SNL yeah. style. So yeah. he's just yeah. reading words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually drunk. Most it's of actually time all improvised. I think that yeah. no matter who called him, he's going to show up. Yeah. yeah. He's that guy. So Jake takes him down to Jacob's impound. Yeah. Um, kind of K-U-B. weird. There, yeah. yeah, KUB. Mm-hmm. I've never seen Jacob like that before, but. It works. DTLA, um, guys. It's DTLA. DTLA. <laughs> um, and here is where we have to get tomorrow's car. Everyone pulls in their money. It's $400 to get the car out, which I'm surprised the high school kids had enough to. Well, she had to. Plus the 200, she yeah, the 200 she lost. Yeah, the 200 she lost. Oh, yeah. Tow truck sucks. driver. So, yeah. So, gr- good thing yeah. she's got an awesome grandma. Who right. Knew. Let her yeah. get her car that way. Yeah, but it's here Hold that on to her credit card. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's here that um, Jenna finally admits. Well, after tomorrow makes her admits that she is having an issue with Maddie and Eva being hitting it off now all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. And tomorrow, our Jenna trying to be the good person that she is tells Maddie like I give you permission. Like I was not okay with this for a minute, but I'm feeling better now. So you know. You have my blessings. Bitch. And this is where I got so happy for Maddie because he yeah. told her off without really telling her off in like a you're a bitch kind of way. But he was like, look, you did all this stuff. I don't need your permission. We're not dating. You don't yeah. own me. Like, you, I owe you nothing. Yeah. And what's better is that he did exactly what she was encouraging him to do. Mm-hmm. Yep. So she was playing the game. I loved the tattoo part where... The Jenna Forever. Oh, oh God, that's funny. That was great. When I read that, I was just like, oh, that's perfect. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know they if they were planning, planning that, that from the moment <laughs> they named her Eva or not, but yeah. Um, I, I love that scene with Bo as well, the one you're talking about mm-hmm. in the in the car park there because, uh, and again, just Bo, what a great actor. What a great guy. Mm-hmm. I'm in love with all my cast members. <laughs> I really especially. am. They're all so great. Um, but I, I love that moment for him too because uh, – you know, it, I mean, it is kind of just Jenna's world and she's always giving p- people permission to do stuff or trying to hook people up or blah, blah, blah. And nobody ever really calls her on it. And I, I like that, you know. He's like, hey, we're not together. And, and by the way, like like how he said, like, I didn't give you permission to date Luke mm-hmm. or yeah. Jake in season one, which they didn't hey. even mention. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they mentioned Hello. Colin and Luke. Hello. <laughs> Jake was there too. I'm just happy that he brought up Colin, though, because I feel like Maddie was always like, too forgiving about that right yeah. like mm-hmm. just went along too fast so at least we know he's still not over there. yeah yeah that's true it was a good scene it was so maybe we'll see more of maddie's feelings like that start coming up about him he kind of goes a little about... aggro sometimes this uh season yeah you know we saw a glimpse of it at the 
pageant last week. Oh, yeah. Where he kind of dragged her under the bus with, you know, the whole. <laughs> totally. <laughs> all that stuff. but And with the cop at the end yeah, of tonight. So, I mean, we oh. were going to be cool. And yeah. then he's got to, like, start calling him a dick, a dick and stuff. And it's, stuff? Like, it's like, what's Come up? Come on, that? man. Yeah. So, Is he getting a little know? rebellious on us? I, yeah, for sure. I think growing up a little. I mean, I think sticking with the theme of like trying to find out who you are. I mean, for Maddie, it's like, is he adopted? What's going on? Like his parents, like literally, who is he? Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I mean, we've seen him drinking a lot this year, you know? Um, mm -hmm. I mean, he passed out on us an episode ago, right? <laughs> and now he's like, you know, yelling at cops and drinking in the back of the, you know? So I think he's, you know, dealing with some issues for sure. I did feel bad for them though because there's pre gaming in the car, post gaming. <laughs> they yeah. weren't driving. You it's feel true. bad for them drinking in a convertible in the middle of the street, <laughs> like, downtown least... where police lurk on every corner. <laughs> at least they weren't driving. Yeah. Here's the but thing. He wanted to, but they had to. Jake plug was gonna Uber, try to, course. which yeah. don't do out there. It's so stupid when people do that. Especially so we since got Uber. there's Uber. I oh mean, yeah, there's Uber. Uber. Placement. Just use Uber it. Uber. Yeah. Just Uber it. Uber it. Lift it. Whatever. Uber it with your Subway also, sandwiches and your <laughs> Neutrogena yeah. or any of the other stuff yeah. you've seen yeah. this season. Also, yeah. Jason, if you're going to be pre-gaming in your car, don't sit in the driver's seat. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's because true. Because that, that is where that they the can get wrong, you for the intent move. to drive under the influence. Man. Especially if your keys are in there. Yeah. Because... Oh. Yeah, I know someone who passed out in their car, but the keys were in the ignition. Oh. So he got he got really? the DUI because the keys were in the ignition. If the Ugh. keys had been out of the ignition, he would have been fine. Let's face it. If you're going to drink, especially... As well, a teenager just, just in high don't school. Don't even go anywhere near car. a car. Yeah. Yeah, just, just it's just a away. bad... Don't, even, don't do it. Bad idea. Don't but do I think it. it was John Smith that was going to drive, not Jake. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah. There you go. Jake's fake yeah. name, John Smith. John Smith. Yeah, John Smith. He's an idiot. Yeah. yeah. That <laughs> Smith guy. Could have given himself a rocker name. And Man. gave the fake ID, so that's not only drinking um, behind the wheel, underage drinking. Good eye. False identification. Mm -hmm. Good eye. Yeah, it's all In those, other words, you guys are not getting into college. All those savvy viewers oh, out there. I didn't even there. think about yeah. that. Also, Eva. Eva. Just walking away. Just leaving them there. She's like, I'm going to go. Okay, actually. I probably you would have done the same thing. Well, if you're already gone, the cops are there. You shouldn't be like, oh, wait, actually, I was in the car was too. There. I'm also a minor. Take my ID. Mr. Officer, I'm over here. Yeah, but the bailing, that's a little. Yeah. There's a good reason for it, though, coming up on the next episode. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't maybe that she bailed them see. out of jail. Well, I mean, we you know. Maybe bit. she has a record. Mm. Maybe All she's an undercover cop, so she couldn't get busted. See? Maybe she called the cops. Ooh. Oh. Bitch. Damn. Bitch. Ooh. <laughs> well, we're already kind of lurking in that territory, I so wonder. let's just talk about our predictions because we're already there. Okay. Okay. Roya, we're we waiting have some on music. you. There we go. Thank you, Roya. And now, wake up back there. You're after Buzz TV. Walk it up. Stop drinking. Stop drinking in the driver's seat. It's <laughs> my Roya. bad. You're a little late on that news. Sorry. <laughs> Roy is our engineer who always is drunk. <laughs> <laughs> what up? What up? <laughs> Use Uber. Use Uber. Land in a plate. No, she lives here, so she doesn't oh. have to go anywhere. I mean, there's a couch Perfect. right there. Just, it's yeah, pretty right comfy. There. Um, all right. So I have a terrible poker face, so while you do this, I'm just going to do this. Oh, oh but no, 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 I like seeing people's faces so that we can kind of oh. see you if we're on the right track. You should just say you're a really good actor, yours, right? and then it would just fuck us either way, and we wouldn't Oh. Yeah. Know. Okay, I'll try. Go ahead. <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> okay. It's going to go. Oh, God. Um, well, I already predicted last week that Jenna, that Luke cheats on Jenna, so you can tell me I was wrong, but we saw that sneak um, preview. We did not see anything. We have to see next week to see what really happened. I think, I think Jake and Sadie are gonna hook up. You're right. Wait, what? <laughs> Why did I? That was horrible. Why did I do that? Wow, you really do have a bad poker <laughs> face. <laughs> the worst. Man, Ugh. No. happens every time. Um, I want to say something. Last week you brought up Maddie's brother, and is he also adopted or is he not? Mm. And we saw that Eva goes to Jenna, and Jenna says. Well, here's Maddie's brother's number. He can handle that situation. So I think Luke maybe we brother? will get. Oh, never mind. Oh no, I was gonna say maybe we'll get <laughs> some of Maddie's brother coming into the picture, and maybe him. Maybe he already knew, and maybe that's why he's such a screw up. You're already. right. Yes, oh, God, we're all right so far. Yes. yes. Oh. 
Man, um, I'm gonna be fired yeah, after this. Know. This is just not good. But it's I'd okay. Like... You can just come work here. Jake's just. Yeah. <laughs> Jake's gonna fall down an elevator shaft. <laughs> like, oh, what? My character died all of a sudden. <laughs> hey, we know he at least makes it to episode 16. Well, yeah. uh, maybe. Maybe we're still maybe shooting it. That's true. It could be like a montage where it's like he died and it's like yeah. remembering Jake, Jake Pizzotti. Mm. President. <laughs> Scholar. <laughs> as long as he's buried in the convertible. Oh. Yes. With, with, the with the amp. Convertible. Yeah, with the amp. With the amp. The yeah. guitar. Um, I do think Jenna's going to get cheated on. She's going to run to Maddie. He's going to already have been like, Psh. don't bless me. I think she's, she's walking in on impress. something that's not what it seems. Ooh, I think Eva's going to hook up with Maddie's brother. I think Eva's going to hook up with everybody. <sighs> You're all right. <laughs> How do we know? How do we know all this stuff? Hey. Ooh. This is what you want on the Price is Right. <laughs> Never um, Jake's gonna get a multi-million dollar record deal. Oh, that would be yeah. awesome. Yeah, I heard that. Happens. Yeah, he, he won't even need 17. to go to college. I hope so. He's got the street cred now because he's been to jail. He went to county. That's true. I mean, yeah. County is oh, serious, guys. That's true, especially in Los especially Angeles. Especially in Los Angeles. Yeah. So maybe this is after being in jail and things happen to guys when they're in jail. Now Jake and Maddie really get together finally. Oh, oh, they can find yeah. They can finally. I think that's what happens. Maybe they write a song in jail and then it goes viral and. It's a know. long night in jail. I MTV, we've got some really good ideas the for you. <laughs> the jail, it's really fun. I'm excited for people to see the next episode because anytime Bo and I can just you know. Be together. Yeah. <laughs> just sounding so <laughs> so gay, I'll it's say. It's okay. It. <laughs> you guys are so in love, and it's so cute. And, and alcohol's involved, and you're in a small, confined space. In jail. We just, have, we just have fun when we do scenes together. That's all I'm going to say. It's fun. It's a fun episode. People are going to like it. I think. They spend the whole thing in jail. So it's fun. Can you give us any news or gossip? Um. Yeah, I mean, I can. <laughs> give us one hint. Tell us a secret. Yeah. One secret uh, that won't get you fired. Oh, my God. I get, they will be really mad at me. <laughs> um, Tell us one secret about every cast member. Yeah. Oh, like in real life? Yeah. Like, yeah. like Ashley picks her nose. Bo has webbed feet. Oh. oh that's not real. That's true. Oh, I believe that. I'm like, oh my God, no way. Um, um, wow. Jillian always has fresh breath. It's weird. Oh, oh really? Just always. Always. Yeah. She woke up like that. I mean, I don't know, oh. but but maybe. Have you guys maybe. ever been romantically linked? No. Gotten drunk and kissed just to see what no. it looks you know like what's, in real life. You know, I'll tell you. So there's never been like any cast hookups ever. Really? I Weird. promise. That you know of. That's that true. I know of. Wow. But no, there really hasn't. We're all just good, good buds. We're all brothers and sisters. Yeah. You it would be now. weird. It would be. It would be weird. Interesting. Yeah. Because well, like you said, all... you got to see each other. Like yeah. you, know, yeah. you know what I mean. That'd be weird. The spark is gone. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much all dated each other anyway God, at this point. I wish point. I could give you... Uh, I can't. Well, we don't want to get you fired. But we're looking forward to next <laughs> week's episode. What about with you? <laughs> Do you have any other projects you're working on? Uh, I did a movie called Love and Mercy, which is a Beach Boys uh, biopic. So ah, I play Carl Wilson, Brian fitting. Wilson's uh, younger brother. So I play the guitar in that one. Oh, cool. Fake, fake the guitar. Fake. I fake the guitar. <laughs> Uh, but it's it's really it's I think it's gonna be a great movie. It's uh, uh, Paul Dano and uh, John Cusack and Elizabeth Banks and Paul Giamatti. <gasps> oh, and it's, wow. it's got a great cast, great movie. Uh, Brian Wilson, the real Brian Wilson, is kind of behind it and like you know nice. endorsed it and, and whatever. So yeah, I, I mean I'm really excited for that to come out. And uh, in September, Bo and I's movie called Born to Race it's finally coming out. Is gonna come out. That's I don't know awesome. if it's in theaters or just DVD. I don't know where or whatever or the exact date or anything, but yeah, it'll finally come out. So. We're excited about that. That's We've been a fun talking one. About it for a while, we had so much fun. Yeah, we really did. So it's gonna That's be good. That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, where can fans find you on social media? Oh, you can follow me on Twitter at bdav b d a v v v v. Snapchat. I wish I just had my real name. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I decided to tweet out my Snapchat name recently, so that's going. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a lot of fun, but I end up just looking at pictures and then I don't. I just, Lots of what naked am I selfies send getting yeah. sent. Dick pics. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Keep, it, let's keep it together. Sorry, I'll stop sending them to you. I yeah. promise. Yeah. I mean, I just wanted a response. <laughs> Buttered popcorn stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Butter and 
Yeah. The toy st- wait, what's it called? Sex Toy Story. Sex Toy, Sex Story. toy Story 3. Yeah. Yeah. So is that funny. in 3D, I wonder? Is that on oh. Netflix yet? Oh. <laughs> sure. Sure is, Roy. Sure yeah. Is. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> All right, Jason, where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Jason Eichler. You can find me at Giselle Ugarty. And I'm at the Tiana Hobson. And make sure you guys go on to iTunes and like and subscribe to our podcast. Check out our YouTube and leave us comments there. And follow AfterBuzz TV at AfterBuzz TV all over social media. We are back up. Um, our website has been worked on nonstop by all the engineers here. Roya, Thank Phil, you. Marissa, Stephen, Krista, Roxy, no. um, Phil. Buzz, Kevin. I mean Sparky, and you can just do it. You can start doing fake names at this everyone, point. Yeah, no one who, knows who you're talking Roy, about. Don, yeah. Brett, Don, Brett, Brett, Jerry, Jesus there. Christ, help the website. <laughs> but our website is back thanks Hashtag to the hard work of everyone blast. here. <laughs> so blast. make sure you check it out and go on iTunes. And we will see you guys next week. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. You're, You're welcome. welcome. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.